this is not how our office looks like usually. <laughs> All the objects are scattered here right now because we're preparing an exhibition in Basel, in Switzerland. We try to show different aspects of breakups in terms of generational differences. For example, breakup between like first love, high school breakups, breakups of some business affairs, marriages. Oh, this one is quite funny. Uh, garter belts <laughs> from uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. I never put them on. The relationship might have lasted longer if I had. The story about this is um, that they didn't have sex before their marriage, but this was a present from him. So she was using this instead of having sex with his with her boyfriend. And um, after they got married, she um, realized that uh, a good sex really matters and they didn't click in that part. So they finally divorced and regretted this, uh, <laughs> this decision. I think Museum of Broken Relationships, after nine years, we can say it's a phenomenon. It was not a decision, okay, I want to do a project, so what could we do? Yeah, we just broke up, let's do something. Else. It, it was not like that. It was really a personal need to, to do something, to get over a breakup. And um, you think a lot about that. And then sometimes it gives birth to something substantial and something really Nice, I think that's the most beautiful thing we have created together. If something didn't work out, it doesn't mean you're supposed to forget it forever, you know. Usually a big part of it was good, but then at the end it falls apart. I spotted Olinka in town, and I knew she had a boyfriend, so I was just waiting for the opportunity. She broke up, then somehow we went on a trip somewhere, a couple of us together, and somebody brought Olinka with. Yes, I was doing a production a contemporary dance show, and we were looking for someone to do a set design and I heard Rajan and his colleague at the time were, they were rocking like in Zagreb doing really great installations and projects and that's how I approached him and I think he told me well, wow that's a great way to make a pass on you know or something like that but it's been a long, long time ago so now when I think back it, it's interesting that work also brought us together and it's still keeping us together We were breaking up and we were discussing, you know, what to do with the things that are there in the house at that moment. We couldn't imagine at that moment having the bunny on the shelf somewhere standing and reminding you. This bunny was kind of a pet. It's a little wind-up toy. If I would travel and Olenka would stay home or vice versa, then you would take the bunny with you and you would take uh, the photos of where, you know, the other one was supposed to be standing in the square in front of the fountain. And that was the hardest question, like, who's going to take the bunny? And this idea came to, wouldn't it be great if there was a place where you could store these things and, you know, just move them away and get them out of your sight at that specific moment when it's kind of hard to watch them? It was like two years after we separated, I think, and then Rajan called me and said, there is this thing, do you remember that idea? That would be great to submit. And I was like, wow, make a project of this, do you think it would work? And this is what we did.
it started to be a living thing when people embraced it and it's still living because you feel the people behind them so it's not the the dusty dead objects it's really the people who are nurturing this exhibition and that's why it's been on for so long It's so surprising how some people write these stories. They're so well written and everybody can have an incredible story. This one is specifically, I don't know why it has the impact on me, um, but it's just like four or five sentences long. It's a key bottle opener. I hate retelling stories because it's really important. Every word is important. It's like la 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 la, and then this is this last sentence that just like cuts you in half. So maybe that's the one that leaves the biggest impression. People do still ask me what I what I have learned from it. So, and what I can tell is that I know maybe even less, and I have realized. For example, how miraculous is something that we call human encounter and that, that's the really the most important thing in our lives. That's what makes us human. People have rituals for everything. If somebody's born, there's a ritual, you know, you finish high school, there's a sort of ritual. You get married, there's a ritual. Somebody dies, there's a ritual. You break up, no matter how hard it is, and there is nothing. So this way, we kind of give people the opportunity to have this little ritual. Maybe one day you will want to remember.